advice. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning! You are watching The Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Nave and welcome once again to The Workplace, where we show you how to make the most out of your profession and give you the latest career trends to stay ahead of the corporate game. Before we introduce to you our today's topic, of course, we'd like to give you a health and wellness tip from the Dean of Wellness herself, Dean Hernandez. Take it away, Dean. Good morning, GNN subscribers and viewers of the global uh, satellite, Destiny Cable. I'm here with you to give you your wellness tip for the week. Yesterday was Sinulog Festival, the yes. Feast of the Santo Nino. Nino. That's why uh, my host, uh, Mary Beth, is in red and You're I'm in, in pink, pink <laughs> because I teach the language of color and pink is the color of love. And, um, speaking of love. and speaking of love, uh, we had a question from one of Mary Beth's students in De La Salle. Um, what do I do with work that I feel I have to do it because that's the only job I have? And my response to all of you is, don't do anything that you have to do. I am going to ask all of you now to think about when you wake up in the morning to go to work or do your livelihood activities, kinikilig pa ba kayo? Right. Okay, like Mary the, Beth. The killing factor. The killing factor. You know, I, 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 what do you call this? My professor was the one who said in, in, in statistics, Miss mm. Liza Stadilio, she has, she always says you have to have that giggle. So yeah, the giggle the factor. Giggle. Because I, I am a practitioner of Reiki. Reiki means universal energy. In Chinese, it's called Qi. Okay, the Qi is the universal energy that powers every human being. And so in Tagalog, kinikilig pa ba tayo sa ating mga trabaho at ginagawa? And because sa that mga moment, kasama sa trabaho, yes. that's probably why uh, uh, your aura seems to be quite different I'm this way you're glowing. Uh, yeah, because actually, you've heard it, no? what the world needs now is love, sweet love, or all you need is love. But Parang kulang pa rin, di ba? And so, my advice to everyone, if you want to maintain health and wellness, stay in love with life. Stay in love. If not, like me, I'm partnerless right now. <laughs> but still but if, in love. But if you're in love with still what you love. do and the people you work with, like the people here, the cameraman, the crew, oh, they're so loving. They take care of us. They make us look good. They make sure we deliver the show every week. Um, it's as simple as that. Because when your livelihood or your hanap buhay, di ba? Mm -hmm. Just like Mares, I mean, look at her. Young as she is, she received two awards last year for hosting. <laughs> and she does not belong to any of the major net networks. And she, well, I, I because it's her first year, right? right? But I consider mm -hmm. this as a major network. I All right. <laughs> no, because we, we are seen from Mongolia to Indonesia. Right. We have partners, okay, around the globe. Mm -hmm. And we are also partnered with 44 cable channels around the 7,107 islands of the Philippines. And so I go back to my tip for this week. Health and wellness, okay, when you are not well, when there is this ease, it only means to say that you are resisting or you are not really liking what you do. Mm -hmm. So liking and loving what you do spells a lot of difference because when you love what you do, it's not work. It's so not we work. should change the name of the workplace to the love place. No <laughs> One of my classmates or colleagues in grad studies did ask me, how am I able to do all these things yes. at the same time? Exactly. It's and like juggling a, a million things. Exactly. Uh -huh. and, and I told her, you know what, you have to get into a job 
or things you have to get activities. into things, activities that you love to do because no matter what it's not it's not going to be easy things that you know it there are a lot of challenges that will come your way and if you really love it like in a relationship you'll really fight for it until the end and people will at the end of the day will see that if you And it can be passion, seen it can exactly. be seen I mean we are very transparent as human beings That's and true. um when you love what you do you know, there's no occupation that has no occupational hazard. Mm -hmm. Like, look at our doctors who go through internship, they go to 24, 36 hour duties, maybe snooze for two hours, then you're back on. I mean, if you don't love helping people, mm -hmm. you're not going to be a good doctor, That's true. right? That's but true. if you love it, I mean, you know, I was watching a movie last night of Anthony Quinn, and he was a, a surgeon for a cancer patient, a little child, but he suffered a stroke himself, okay, you know? Okay. So, I mean, he rose above the stroke because he really wanted to be in the service of humanity. Wow, and and that's if for what those of about. and if you uh, have heard about the 2012 movie that in 2012 there's going to be a shift in consciousness where all these negative things that are happening uh, we are going to uh, be able to shift our mindset. existence and mindset to something more positive you know the un only prescription to that between now and december 21st 2012 is love 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 love, love. just have enough love all right and with that um guys the tip for the week um you have to have the killing factor and love what you do so we'll just take a quick break when we return we'll introduce to you the guests for today so stay tuned Welcome back to The Workplace and today we will be talking about nutritional wellness in the workplace. And our special guest for this morning is Ms. Rachel Ann Espino. She is the Business Development Supervisor of Easy Famax and with her is Ms. Myra Yasmin Ginas. She is the Call Center Manager of the Customer Care Division. Now before we talk about nutritional wellness, um, I'd like to find out and give you guys some job tips and techniques because a lot of you tend to ask me how to find the right job. So we've got two special guests and we can ask them how they landed their particular job. So good morning, Rachel and Myra. Good morning. It's a pleasure to have both of you on, on the studio right now. Yeah. So um, Rachel, you're the Business Development Supervisor of mm -hmm. Easy Famax. How did you get that job? Okay, well, I actually applied through different job sites and one of it was Job Street. Okay. And then I got a call from John Clements. Maybe they it's one of the jobs I've applied before. And then after that they screened me for an interview and directed me to the company. So when I saw that it was a health and wellness company, I really got interested and the products are really into biotechnology, which is kind of related to my um course. Which is what? Which is BS biology. Ah, yes. okay. So when they offered you the job you said I'm going to take this. Yes, but at first I applied for the customer service representative. Her job. Yes, her job. Her job. <laughs> okay. It was, I was supposed to be at, at the call center, but um, focus, focusing primarily on the health products. But then I got assigned on a different, uh, like on the main office, yes. And then after that, I think after 10 months, they see that um, I could be part of the business development department, which is... Uh, mainly on de delivering the sales target or delivering the sales objective and not only that because the job was really about talking to people doing presentations proposals negotiations and different kinds of executions and this is something you love to do I I realized that, that you love yeah, it. Yeah, but at first it, I wasn't really into sales before and I, I thought I couldn't do it but eventually you'll get to enjoy it 
what what changed? Because a lot of people tend mm-hmm. when they apply, they they get so intimidated by the job description. Yes. So instead of signing the job offer, they tend to walk out of the company. So what happened with you? What made you want to engage aside from you coming from a a, a bio mm-hmm. course? What made you want to get that particular job, and what made you love it eventually? Um, it's the experience because I love learning. Okay. So I learned how to do things. I learned how to speak to people, which is one of my weaknesses before. I and now I you're on camera. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm on camera. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I couldn't talk even to just one person. And now I'm talking to. I can talk to a crowd. Okay. Explain the product and the business side of the of the company. And, and such a young age. You're 24 years old yes. and you're already a supervisor. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, it is possible to be able to get to that position as long as you really love what you're doing. Like mm-hmm. again, the health and wealth tip for this week, love. <laughs> okay, so thanks Rachel. Now what about you, Myra? How did you become the call center manager of the customer care division? Well, I have about 11 years worth of BPO experience. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, um, I I was I happened to stumble onto the job because uh, one of the partners of um, the company saw me on LinkedIn. So oh, LinkedIn. he just okay. where in LinkedIn you know that the profile is all there, and including it, the recommendations. So right. uh, they have an idea of uh, what type of person you are and your experiences. So uh, he emailed me and asked me. Th- for an interview, so I emailed them back, and um, here you are. Here, here you are. are. <laughs> here you are. Call center manager. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, as a call center manager, what what do you do exactly? Well, basically, you manage the operations um, of uh, the call center. Okay. And um, is it something you love to do? I mean, that that's a obviously how many eleven people? years. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you obviously. know that this is something that you really wanted to do? Well, uh, yeah, uh, I realized that when I uh, started in the BPO business, uh, because before I was in retail, and uh, so uh, when I shifted uh, like eleven years ago to BPO, I I I like the fact to talk uh, that you can talk to different types of people, especially internationally. So um, that what made me love the job, and I was a trainer also for and a training manager for a couple of years. So I like the fact that you get to share your knowledge and also uh, learn from your trainees and your students. So like like Rach also, it's mm-hmm. something that you eventually learn to love, right? I mean, yes. with you, you shifted from retail to this. Mm-hmm. So can you both say that in order for you to find the love of your life, <laughs> um, you actually have to really try things out? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, said, yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, for me, I really want to explore myself. I want to explore different kinds of opportunities and eventually find a liking into a certain thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, and with you, Myra? Yeah, that's true. I, I suggest that they explore uh, different possibilities, especially something that they love. If you might be in the med- medicine type of uh, uh, business or uh, course, but you like painting, you like singing, uh, dabble into that once in a while and see what happens. You know, you never know what uh, that may take you, especially, especially you said if uh, you you love what you do, you know, it'll show like what Miss Dean said earlier. It'll show on your face that you love what you're doing. Right, and probably that, that doctor could start painting probably anatomical body parts <laughs> in another encyclopedia <laughs> or something like yeah. that. All right, so again, thank you for those tips. For those viewers out there, if you're looking for a job, make sure that it is a job that you really want to go for. And it's something that you'll increase in terms of your knowledge, expertise, so that you and the company would be happy at the end of the day. Now, let's move on to our main topic for today. It's called nutritional wellness. Now, um, please, Rach, uh, I think you're ta- going to be talking about wheatgrass. Yes. All right, what is wheatgrass? I always see this in a lot of commercials. People mm-hmm. talk about it, but a lot of um, classmates of mine, um, colleagues, even those people outside, they really don't know what wheatgrass is all about. Um, I had a, a, a colleague, a grad, uh, grad student classmate, Rajiv Miyake, he just um, uploaded this uh, message in Facebook about wheatgrass. So can you tell us what is wheatgrass all about? Okay, so 
I think here in the Philippines, most people do not know about wheatgrass. All we know is like grass. wheat bread. <laughs> or right? grass. Or wheat grains. <laughs> or grass. Right. Okay, so what is wheatgrass? Yes, okay. So the wheatgrass is actually the young grass.